Aaron, you don't need to comment. I know exactly what you go and say. You know who you are. I need help. So I've been in Japan for over a year now, just a little over a year. And the decision to recontract for that second year was a no-brainer. Now, right now it's September when I'm filming this video, but come December, January time, I have to choose whether I want to stay for a third year, so the following August to August period. And I'm very stressed about it. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? I thought I'd vent on camera and put that out into the world and hopefully that will alleviate some of the stress for me. Hopefully if you're also struggling with a decision to recontract you'll find this relatable and comforting to know someone else is going through this experience or maybe it'll just make you kind of aware of the kinds of things you can be thinking about when making that decision or maybe you're just a good Samaritan who can give me some good life advice because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Usually I'm very very good at making big life decisions. I'm always like, I want to do this, I'm going to do that. Basically, I've thought about it for a long time and I want to do both. I want to stay for a third year, but I also simultaneously want to go back home for a bit, you know? So, going back to Scotland, pros. Well, I miss my friends a lot. I want to go see them again and my family and especially my dog. Oh my god, I miss Flora so much. Also, you know, I'm teaching English here and I'm enjoying it. But I have no aspirations to be a teacher in the future. Currently, when I go back to Scotland, I do want to go back into video work in whatever form I can. I don't really know exactly what. That's always been my plan. That's why I make partly why I make these videos, because I want to keep in practice. But if coming to Japan has taught me anything, it's that life can go in very unexpected directions. Like coming here, which was very spontaneous, to be honest. The longer I stay here, the longer I'm kind of putting off that decision. And I don't want my one of my main deciding factors of staying here to be, I just can't be bothered dealing with my f real future just now, you know? Because that's just procrastination on an epic scale, you know? Being on the JET program is a very cushy experience. You can save a lot of money. Not that I do, but like, you can. You make a good amount of money for what you do, especially for someone not long out of university. Rent and bills are usually really cheap, so it's really comfortable. And again, that's kind of like a pro and con in, it, in itself, both because I could argue that I want to stay here so I can take full advantage of this easy lifestyle as long as possible. Because once I go back to Scotland, I'm never going to live like this easily again. But also, I don't want a driving factor of my decision to stay here to be, oh, it's easy, it's comfortable, you know? I need to push myself more. Oh, this is stressful. <laughs> Cheers. So yeah, those are the main reasons for going home anyway, and for staying, as I said, it's a really nice lifestyle and easy to maintain, Not, I don't have to put a huge amount of work in. But I think the real main reason I would want to stay a third year is to have time to see more of Japan and more of Asia, because I probably won't come back to Asia more than maybe like one or two more times in my life once I leave, because, well, it's really expensive, you know, it's real pricey. So I just, I want to take full advantage of that, and there is a number of places I've not been yet I want to see, and obviously they're expensive to go on holiday, and I can't go like every bank holiday weekend to a new country and I can't just constantly be going on holiday. But then I could also argue that if I don't recontract, that that will motivate me to go and see all of those places and put more effort into going to those places for my last six months on the program. But then also, whenever I do decide not to recontract, I want to start saving some money for when I go back home, so I won't want to do too much in that last period of time anyway. That's probably the main reason to stay. Obviously, I have friends here as well, and I don't know if or when I'll ever see them again once we move on from Japan, so that's something to consider as well. Man, it's just a lot, you know? But I don't know. I really don't, and I don't want to just like flip a coin or something. I really want to do whatever the right decision is for me. If you have any advice or thoughts on what I've said, please comment it below or DM me or something. Something that I'm really not looking forward to as well is when I finish here and go back to Scotland, now that I've lived alone and experienced that, I never want to live with anyone again. I love living alone. It's phenomenal. And my brother moved into my bedroom once I left. So when I go home, 
I probably won't have a huge amount of money, I won't have a job, and I'll have nowhere to live. And I don't want that to affect my decision either though, so the point I'm making is, I don't want to stay here again just to put off something that's a bit more difficult, you know? And I'm very good at lying to myself, so I don't want to convince myself staying here for the wrong reasons and tell myself, oh I've got so much to do and I can take so much more from this experience and stuff, when ultimately inside I'm just like, mmm. Difficult choices, difficult situations go away. Life's not easy. I guess a part of me thought that by ranting right now on camera, I would come to some big self realization, have an epiphany on camera, which would have been amazing and helpful and good content. But this has really not particularly helped so far. Hopefully once I upload it, I know people have seen it, then I'll start to think, you know, it's out there. Maybe it'll feel like a weight's been lifted or something and I can at least forget about it for now, but we'll see. Man, this video's all over the place, like... Ugh. Anyway, please help. Let me know what you think. Okay, subscribe, bye!